against. That's carried. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, okay, moving quickly this morning. So next is um, item 10, the Waipuna Hallswell Hornby Ricketon Community Board Report to Council. And Mike Mora, Chair of the Community Board, welcome to the table. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, Andrew and Councillors. Gives me and Marie great pleasure to um, present our area report, our community board report to you this morning. I'm just going to go through the report um, quickly. I presume everybody's read it, but I just want to highlight a few things and then we'll go back to our, um, our little overheads, if that's okay. So under the community board decisions under delegation, um, I just wanted to point out the, uh, the Waipuna Halls will Hornby Rickett and Community Board had an extraordinary meeting on the 5th of June to approve the submission made under our delegated authority to the, um, to the Fulton Hogan Royden Quarry um, application. So we're, we're, um, we're really on the ball with that. So just thought I'd let you know, seeing we're acting as the council in this matter. The um, Kyle Park reclassification um, went through our board on Tuesday, so the next step in that process is to actually um, the community board and and some and the public to actually get together in a workshop to have to look at um, the scope of what of the building and what we want in it, um, so then that can progress to um, <laughs> through the council system to yeah to get that underway. So that's where we're at with that. And the, um, the other thing, oh, no, I'll just talk to that later. I think that's about it, really, from the points I wanted to highlight out of that. And um, moving on then to our, <coughs> to our overheads. And our community board have approved a, um, a trial to extend the hours of the Hallswell um, swimming pool operating hours for the 2019-19 for the Twenty um, year summer season, so that's something that a community board have put up to fifty thousand dollars <coughs> to extend those hours for a trial period. So we just hope that the public will actually appreciate that and uh, and take it up and make the benefit from it. So <coughs> that's something that we're really um, been driven by the by the hall <coughs> excuse me by the Hallswell um, board members, ward members. South West Leisure Centre Tuesday board meeting. We um, we did accept the with pleasure the 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 hearings panel's recommendation. So um, thank you um, to the panel for the work that was done on that and the the consultation. So that's um, that's underway. The next um, item we want to talk about is community service awards. You've heard from other wards um, boards about their community service awards. And we had six um, plus two. The two youth service awards were um, were really, really extraordinary. We had a young person from from Hornby that's um, that's showing great leadership, and um, we also had a um, a young man from the Muslim community who has actually been working really, really good with young people uh, in the Muslim community and um, post post the fifteenth um, incident. Um, they went away to to Arthur's Pass for a camp and a breakaway. So it's really, really good to know that these people are are, um, are working very, very positively. Um, as a, well, not as a result, but um, following that um, that horrific event. So the next one is St John of God water slide. So that's something that's um, that's really, really pleased to see that people with disabilities. And, um, and handicaps can actually go out and do something exciting um, and with them out too much um, involvement with um, health and safety to let, the, let people have a, a great exciting time. And just like to mention the fact that HEB Construction who have been involved in the, in the Napunawai development actually helped out as well by depositing um, quite a large amount of earth there to, uh, to construct the water slide, and um, it's just something that the the give the the, the people 
the people from St John of God that are living with disabilities for them and their families to actually have some real fun, something completely different. So um, hopefully that will continue. And moving on then to the Rickerton West Community Garden Pantry. We lost it. Got some really exciting news there on that one too. Here it comes. <laughs> I didn't know there was music going with it, Marie. Sorry. Um, no, I'd better not. I'd better not because we don't want to waste too much time and get the gallery too excited. So, <laughs> so we'll. Um, We'll just move on. I'll just I'll just go back to that one. And so the Rickett and West Community Garden celebrated the opening of its community pantry on site in Peveril Street. The council's sustainability fund provided funding for the power connection. Um, a fridge was donated, and the um, and the pantry is open three days a week at the stage. From all the hours are in our um, in our other report, but it's something that's really really exciting. And if you have a look at that image down the bottom of that, um, of that 50 kg pumpkin. Um, it's, um, it's a pumpkin on steroids, I would say, but um, it's absolutely massive. But, um, oh, no, you can't genetically modify things. It's just a freak of nature, I would say. Helped with a little bit of steroids. But it's, um, it's, it's the, community pro the community project is there's a real strong feeling in that community to, to actually get that community garden up and going and it's just going from strength to strength to strength and there are absolutely wonderful people involved in that. So, uh, and that's not only in, um, in Rickerton, but around the city we're getting, getting those community gardens and projects up and running, but it, I suppose there'll be a competition next year to see who can grow the biggest pumpkin in their gardens. But, and this, <coughs> this next one is very, 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 very exciting. This is our hyper helpful random facts from our board this, this, this time. And this is something that <coughs> I've known about for quite a while, <coughs> but it's, a, it's something that a lot of people do not know anything about. I'll just have a wee sip of um, chlorine free water. Now, the pioneers of the coffee industry in, in, in Australasia, in Templeton, <coughs> Trent's farm at Templeton's, <coughs> Templeton in 1872 covered 200 acres growing and processing chicory. And for those who don't know, um, before ground coffee or instant coffee came on board, there was a huge demand for coffee and chicory essence. And my mum used to drink that all the time. Trent's coffee and chicory essence. So that was something that people didn't know about, and this was exported, exported from Templeton to um, to overseas. So that was, and in 1873, the farm destroyed by the the, the building farm was destroyed by fire, and production ceased in World War Two because of a shortage of labour. And it was brought out eventually by foodstuffs and that Trent's brand is still going today. There's a road in Templeton called Trent's Road. So when you drive down Trent's Road, just cast your mind back and have a look at this, these buildings, absolutely massive. And that tower that you can see, that was where the um, Mr. Trent would go up and um, use his telescope to scan the fields to see how his workers were operating. So that was the control tower for the for the um, chicory farm. So that's I know it's a I know it's a, a bit of um, hyper helpful random facts, but it's something that a lot of people didn't know about. Back in that day we had an export business going from from Templeton. So there we are. Thank you. Thanks very much indeed.
Are there and any... I am willing to answer any questions, should anybody want to ask. Are there any questions for Mike? Pauline. I was looking at Chicory, it's a member of the Dandelion family. Would grow very well out there. Yes. Maybe we should start it up again, because it's still being produced. Right. Well, that's something that I think we need to talk to some of the farmers around, yeah. um, the dairy farmers maybe around there, maybe. to uh, switch from dairy to, um, to chicory maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's left us with time for just one more question from Dion. Yeah, no, I'm, um, I'm a little bit concerned about the, the quarry down in, um, in Templeton yes. area. Um, are you getting to the point where you think you need to be or is there any further support that you may need? I mean, I just know there's a lot of people in the community who are a bit unsure about what's going on and... It's all right. Are there any rules that need to be changed or, you know, uh, there's a lot under the water here, but I just there wanted is. to know where you're at with it. There is, and that's where um, we're plead, pleading with central government, and central government are, at this point in time, reviewing the RMA. Yes. And what, I, what we've been pushing for is to have a, um, a, a, na a national setback yeah. from, from quarries um, to, from residential. Um, to, to even residential or, or industrial zones. Okay with the knowledge that um, the crystalline silica that comes from our grey wacky rock here in, um, in Canterbury is very, very high in crystalline silica. And it's the fine, fine dust that you can't see that's the killer. Maybe, maybe it might be worthwhile just to have an update memo maybe from your board to us just to know where you're at with it and what's Absolutely. going on. Absolutely. That'd be great. More than happy to do <coughs> Thank that. Thank you. But we have, um, we are, our submission is prepared all we're waiting for now is to deliver it, but I think it would be quite good to, it's actually online anyway, but it'd be good to get it out to um, to to, uh, to the council itself. And I think it has gone out, hasn't it, Marie? Uh, yes, I think it, yes. Was, it was attached to a previous yeah. report. Yep. All right, maybe if the link could be sent out so that if people wanted to review that, it's fair to say it's something that we've all got some interest in. Yep. Absolutely, um, no absolutely. problem at all. All right, thank you very much. So we've got a resolution in front of us to receive the, re the report. Do I have a mover? Jimmy Chen, seconded by Anne Galloway. All those in favour say aye. Against, that's carried. Mike.